Hi guys, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In my playlist, I have done a few tutorials with respect to AWS Lambda function and in that videos, I have explained how can we create a AWS Lambda function and how can we do, how can we implement it with different use cases. But in all those uh, tutorials, what I have done, I have few of them I have created from the AWS console itself and a few of them I have created uh, in the Visual Studio code then I have zipped those uh, files and I have uploaded to AWS Lambda function. So we have to do like few steps to complete uh, those activities. So in this video we will be discussing on AWS SDK which can be integrated with the Visual Studio code and which will help us to easily uh, create AWS services. So especially in this video we will be discussing how can we create a AWS Lambda functions maybe in future videos we may be able to explore more services. Okay. Uh, so, I have done this in my Ubuntu machine and we are using, uh, we are using that for different in, my, in our project but in Mac machine is the first time that I am using so you guys can see some errors. So hopefully like we will able to fix those errors. Okay. And uh, the prerequisite, prerequisite is that we need to have a Visual Studio code for sure and we need to install or we need to have a docker is running in our machine. So. I have my Visual Studio code is up and running and also the docker is also up and running. So first what we can do, we can go to um, the extension menu, here I can type AWS SDK. So this is the um, AWS SDK code, okay, AWS CLI. AWS, let me type AWS toolkit. Okay. So this is the AWS toolkit. This is the one that I am going to install. Okay. Let me install that. So installation is in progress. may take uh, some time we can see so once the installation we will able to see a icon in this menu here okay so we can just scroll down we will able to see see we will able to once the installation is done we will able to see a menu something like this okay. so meanwhile what we can do we can go and create a um, I am user. So let me go there. We type a I am. Okay. So here we have a user. And let me create a user here. My username may be Mac AWS SDK or Mac AWS VS Code. I believe we don't need this control access. So let me go to the next. So in the policy, what I am going to do, I am going to give a administrative access directly. Okay. So this is the administrative access. Um, now let me click on next. Okay, and maybe let me add a tag. Um, Mac VS Code. Can type a value like uh, VS Code. AWS SDK. Okay. Now let me click on the create user. So my user must be created. So this is, let me see my users. Can it be a lot of users here? So this is the user that we are going to use Mac VS Code. And here we can create a security credential. So let me go there create the access key let me click on outside of aws now click on next here i can create the access key let me download it okay now we can go back to the visual studio code okay, this must be okay, still executing So 
so the installation is still in progress okay we'll see let it complete so what i will do i will post the video then we can resume once the installation is done okay no no <laughs> i think it's done there okay it's done so see here we can able to see a menu called aws so let me click on this menu uh, here uh, maybe i can click on the iam credential so let me click on the iam credential and uh, here we can see uh, here we can see the profile name so i can give mac uh, vs code okay now we need to give our access key and the secret key so for that let me go there let me copy my access key and let me paste it here sorry it must be in the access key and let me delete this go into the uh, secret key and paste it here now click so this will try to authenticate okay yep so the authentication is done so once the authentication is done we will able to see all the services here okay so we are able to see all the services because we have given the administrative privilege to the particular user so here this is the lambda function this can see the test function here so let me click on the test function Okay, so this is the function that okay, that that is not opening but we will able let me go to my lambda screen here okay okay so this is my test function here i am able to see the test function here okay so this is fine and here we can see the s3 bucket let me see if i can list the s3 bucket okay so so these are my s3 bucket and like that we will able to see each and every services okay so i am able to see that because i have given the administrative privileges okay so uh, that is all about in this video in our next video we can see like how can we create a lambda function and how can we upload that into the aws console so please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye